Benjamin Bernheim is with me now. Hi, Ben. My Hi, Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can't tell you how much I love singing Juliette with you, but how do you feel about playing Romeo? Well, it is one of my favorite, if not signature roles in the yes. repertoire, especially in the French repertoire. Mm -hmm. And for me, it is a great pleasure and a great honor also to bring it on the American stage here, yes. to bring the, okay. my French taste, my French lines, my French way of singing it, and bringing it to the American audience alongside with you. Yeah. I have a, the very good feeling that we make each other uh, better yes we i agree with that a very good couple on stage and yes. we bring some a lot of sparkles i think to the audience i mean the audience really loved it so far yeah. so i'm really really excited to bring this to america to bring this in new york and to have you oh thank you ben that's very sweet and people talk about your great f feel for the french style speaking of french style and i just want to know what does this french style mean to you how would you describe that as being well, I think it is a very personal approach. Yeah. Uh, we all have a very personal approach on how we want to sing a line. Yeah. What is legato? What is the French uh, um, speaking, the French language in your tongue, in your mouth? Mm -hmm. And my way, what I prefer is to search, to aim for the elegance. Yes. The most elegance possible. What I learned from Nathalie de Say, Roberto mm -hmm. Alagna, Alain mm -hmm. Vanzo, Georges Thiel, all these people mm -hmm. had a taste for elegant line, which I think is what the French elegant vision way of singing is. And oh, yeah. for me, this is not something that you have. It is always something that you're aiming to right. have. Right. And you never really get it mm. because you're never really happy as a yeah. performer, as a singer. But you aim for something that is as elegant and tasteful as possible. And you really do that, Ben. I've told you before, you really inspire me when we were on stage together. And I'm actually listening out for when you're singing in this French style you're speaking of. And it really inspires me to even aim higher and do better. So I thank you. That was a side note. <laughs> thank you. Well, I do think that if we make each other better, it's a, it's a great experience. I, yeah, I think so too. And so this is your first time working with Maestro Neses again? It is or the first time. It is the it first, is first time. time. I met him for the first time with oh, you the other day in the I rehearsals. Didn't know that. And have you enjoyed working with him? Oh, so much. I have to say, he's one of these people that when he enters in a room, brings such a good mood, yes. positive vibes, positive I thoughts. Agree with that. You actually, as a singer, want to sing well for him yes. because he invites, he invites any singer to to be really to give the best yes and, and to engage I, as much as possible exactly to engage but important. you do not feel you do not feel small you do not yeah. feel like you're afraid i felt that with a lot of yeah. amazing famous conductors but him he is giving something with his smile with his eyes uh, an invitation of come give me something and i, I yeah. have to say it's been a great pleasure so far oh good i agree with that ben it has been a pleasure to speak with you and interview you thank you so much i will see you tomorrow absolutely see you tomorrow <laughs> okay. thank you very much nadine you're very welcome <laughs> thank you you too